Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Ibrahim Omar and today we'll make this uh, block in Solid Edge. Uh, I'm using Solid Edge V20 and uh, this is the block. And uh, first we'll model in Solid Edge uh, and then we'll apply some colors using, uh, let's say, uh, uh, using this part painter. And then uh, I'll show you how to apply these dimensions in Solid Edge. Here, uh, uh, let's say you can see these uh, uh, features, 3D features, uh, protrusion, uh, cutout, rib command, chamfer, thin ball and uh, round command. Uh, remember this protrusion command is called extrude command in some software like SOLIDWORKS and uh, this round command, uh, round command is called fillet in some softwares and this uh, thin ball command is called shell command. Right? Uh, as you can see this shell from the back side so uh, we'll model this in solid edge and uh, uh, we'll take some arbitrary dimensions right uh, so uh, let's close this go to file go to new and we are in solid edge interface here you can see some templates normal uh, assembly drafting uh, part sheet metal weldment and symbol drafting etc so we'll use uh, because this is not assembly this is not a drawing this is a simple uh, part uh, uh, this is a simple part modeling this is a simple 3d modeling so i'll use this normal part right so click ok and now we are in solid edge interface uh, so let's select this uh, in fact let's go to sketch and let's select one of these planes and we'll make a very simple rectangle so go to rectangle and we'll make a simple rectangle uh, this rectangle is not constrained so first i'll apply some relations so let's apply this connect relation with this and this relation with this now it is constrained in this side uh, and in this side this horizontal side and this vertical side uh, so let's give them some dimensions let's go to smart dimension tool and here is the smart dimension tool and let's say this dimension is 30 millimeters and uh, this dimension is uh, 84 millimeters right uh, so uh, now this is sketch is uh, fully defined uh, click finish and now i'll go to uh, protrusion command and here you can see uh, we can make some uh, sketch uh, but because we have already created a sketch so i will select this sketch from uh, select from sketch right uh, uh, using single entity or uh, chain so i'll select this chain right click ok and now i can extrude it uh, in any direction uh, i want to extrude in both directions so i will select this uh, feature and let's say uh, this is 72 right so click finish and uh, cancel it and now i will hide my sketch uh, okay so next is uh, uh, i will use uh, a command called cut out and uh, i will select uh, this uh, this time coincident plane this plane and i will make a, a simple rectangle and i will make a very simple cut out right okay uh, let's give them some dimensions let's say this uh, the dimension from this side uh, to this side it should be let's say 18 uh, 18 mm in fact this should be i think 10 mm and uh, this dimension it should be uh, 18 mm right okay so uh, go to return and now i can cut this uh, uh, i can cut this symmetry through all click finish and now uh, you can see this cutout command let's cancel it uh, so next is uh, uh, we will apply some cutout here as well as you can see uh, on this uh, picture uh, so let's go to uh, sketch tool again and this time I will make a sketch on this front face right on this uh, in, in fact on this top face so uh, let's go to uh, line tool line tool is already selected and uh, I will make uh, a line like this one line like this and one line like this right uh, I'll apply some relations go to connect relation select this with this right and uh, i will just drag this uh, i will apply some dimension 
let's say this dimension is uh, in fact this dimension sorry i will apply dimension again and uh, this dimension is let's say 26 and uh, i can apply some angle so let's go to angle between and uh, let's select these and let's apply some uh, relation that is uh, let's apply this uh, uh, this angle that is 42 you can apply 45 or uh, anything uh, if you want let's apply angle relation again uh, you can apply equal relation or symmetric relation as well uh, this is 42 degree right uh, now I can use uh, uh, extrude cut command to make uh, this uh, uh, cut out first I will uh, join these lines and uh, go to return and now I can use uh, this cutout option so I will use this select from a sketch click this click OK and now I can uh, make this cut out click finish and uh, can just cancel this uh, okay now I can hide this sketch as well so uh, this is uh, uh, cut out is done uh, this is not a uh, same cut out so I can increase these dimensions but I think it's okay uh, next is uh, we will uh, create uh, this uh, uh, circular protrusion so I'll go to uh, this uh, I will select this face go to sketch and I will select this face and uh, I will use uh, uh, one line and then a arc uh, in fact uh, a three point arc and uh, I will make an arc like this and this arc will be tangent so we will apply some tangent relation and uh, in fact just delete this arc uh, go to three point arc again and this time uh, okay so uh, uh, I will apply first uh, tangent relation so let's say uh, go to tangent relations like this and this now it is uh, uh, you can see this tangent relation here uh, next is uh, uh, let's say uh, I'll apply a dimension and let's say this dimension is uh, 22 right and uh, uh, I will make another line and this line should be here to here right and this is already uh, tangent and the dimension from uh, let's say this plane to this line is also 22 and now you can see that this circle is on uh, uh, on the center uh, on the center of this part right you can make uh, this uh, symmetric relation to make this uh, as well uh, now I will uh, give them uh, uh, linear dimension so let's say this dimension should be 30 okay so go to return and uh, uh, go to return uh, let's say I want to make a circle on this side as well so let's go to sketch tool again uh, let's go to sketch tool again go to edit profile and uh, I will select this uh, circle and we'll make uh, a circle of let's say 20 20 millimeter diameter click return and now uh, as you can see that this is not a fully uh, uh, this is not a, a full sketch uh, so I'll go to sketch again and I will make a line now it is a full sketch uh, it is a full uh, uh, contour uh, so uh, just go to return and now I will go to protrusion command and I will use this sketch this sketch click ok and now I can uh, make uh, this uh, extrusion or protrusion right so uh, this protrusion uh, is let's say 20 mm right uh, okay click finish uh, next is uh, let's say uh, let's rot uh, rotate my model next is we'll apply some rib feature here so let's go to uh, let's go to rib feature and uh, uh, plane will be 
this in fact not a parallel plane go to the feature again and uh, plane should be coincident this plane right plane and we'll make a rib here right so rib will be like this and uh, you can apply some dimension but i think it's okay let's go to return and uh, uh, i cannot make rib in this direction and in this direction but i can make rib in this direction right in this direction and the thickness you can uh, change your thickness let's say thickness would be 5 mm on both sides so uh, click ok and now rib feature is done uh, we can hide just go to cancel this we can hide this sketch as well uh, now I will apply let's say some uh, uh, some uh, round relation or fillet relation and uh, this fillet let's say would be 10 10 millimeter fillet okay uh, next is uh, uh, next is we'll apply some circle which will be uh, through uh, uh, through all uh, so let's go to sketch and uh, let's go to uh, let's select this uh, circle relation let's go to cut out and let's select uh, this plane select this cutout and uh, select this coincident plane select this select this circle and uh, uh, if you go to this uh, arc so it will uh, uh, it will give you this uh, uh, circle uh, sorry the center of this uh, arc so I will make us I will make a circle on this center right uh, I'll apply equal relation and uh, I will give them a suitable dimension let's say 12 uh, this exclusion is not through all so no it's, uh, it is through all uh, lastly I will go to uh, chamfer tool and uh, uh, let's say setback is 2 mm and i will select this this and this and click ok uh, it's a big setback so i will change it to one okay i will apply uh, shell relation or uh, thin uh, thin wall relation and uh, let's change it to open faces and uh, select uh, single and select this face click ok go to preview and let's say you can see this preview you can change the thickness let's say this thickness is currently 0.25 i think it's okay you can change the thickness to here click finish uh, lastly i will apply some uh, let's say some appearance or some colors to this body just close this first i will hide these planes select all these planes and click hide and uh, now i'll go to format go to part painter and uh, go to feature we can apply uh, colors to whole features whole body and faces so let's say first go to feature and apply green to this so you can see that green feature uh, sorry green color is applied to this feature uh, let's say red feature uh, uh, sorry red color on this feature you can see that that is applied you can apply on uh, uh, face as well so click face and we can apply orange to this face so you can see orange is applied